Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, how do I know if I have a warrant? Let's start with this premise. If you're being investigated by the government, be it the state or the feds, the overwhelming odds are that the investigation is being conducted secretly and covertly. It is a rare case, although not unheard of, where police come to you and let you know that you're under investigation. Still, in many circumstances, a warrant may be very public, and in others, you should know. What do I mean? It depends upon the why of the warrant and the type of the warrant. When it comes to search warrants, there's almost never any sort of advance notice, and the reason for this is obvious. If law enforcement's suspicious eye is focused upon you, let's say they're conducting a narcotics investigation. Perhaps they have information from a confidential informant that you're dealing dope out of your house. Or maybe you've been caught up in some sort of an undercover police internet sting operation, let's say for prostitution or child pornography. In any of these circumstances, you're not going to get any warning. You're not going to get advance notice. Why? Because the most reasonably foreseeable probability of the police advising you is that you're going to secret, destroy, or otherwise tamper with the very evidence that an impromptu, concealed, and spontaneously served search warrant would otherwise undercover. When it comes to arrest warrants, the same logic can hold true. For instance, the cops may not want Mr. X to know that they're gunning for him, because if Mr. X knows, he might flee. However, many arrest warrants are no big secret. For example, let's say you have a criminal case and you fail to appear. The reasonable probability from that is a bench warrant issu issuing. And if a bench warrant issues, then that's going to be on the record in a public courtroom and then entered into the clerk's public database. The same holds true for a writ of bodily attachment, which is an arrest warrant for failing to pay court-ordered support, be it child alimony or otherwise, as well as for various detainers or holds, which might be placed on someone who's in custody by some other entity, which also has a claim on that very same person. A good example of that is an immigration or an ICE hold, or an extradition warrant. You can always search for yourself in any of a number of databases. For instance, your local clerk of court or the FDLE, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, which operates a website known as the Florida Crime Information Center Public Access System. And maybe, just maybe, your warrant will pop up. That said, I wanna thank you for asking me this question and I want you to know I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.